I've got a, uh, again, the uh, diagnostic cartridge in. I've reseated all of the chips that are reseatable on the uh, platform. And I think it's bad memory, and I'm going to demonstrate why. I turn it on, it goes into Commodore 64 mode, and you can see a lot of artifacts on the screen, but you do see the program running, or at least ran until it, it fizzled out. If I hit reset, the artifacts change every th single time. And as the uh, memory is mapped to the uh, video, the, the values in those memory areas are constantly changing or, or each time I cycle it and being uh, uh, corrupted with other data. So every time I hit this, I'll get a, a different output. Also, if I load my final cartridge three, which I'm not going to do, but when I do, the top menu will actually come up for a brief moment before the program crashes. But this is what I get. Never in the same location. They are dollar signs, mostly, but... If I do it in 128 mode, it won't do anything at all. As far as... It, it won't recognize, it'll, it'll show the same thing it would if there was no cartridge in there. Sometimes I get that weird stuff. I'll reset again. And you notice if I stop here, we have a blinking cursor. And for this blinking cursor to happen, uh, the CPU does have to be functional, as well as the uh, timing chip. I believe it's somewhere in one of the uh, CIAs of the unit that blinking cursor is also changing the B from a B to an inverse colored B and it's doing it in the correct color as well it looks like a broken computer but it has to be understood that a lot of things have to be working for the computer to be able to do that and I'm leaning towards the fact that it's probably a corrupt RAM issue uh, I'm gonna have to look through the books now and see if I can isolate uh, which one of the memory chips for the 128k is is causing this issue but that right there some of the telltale signs I've seen as well as uh, breaking out into a, uh, a monitor showing the uh, processor flags which I can't always replicate so I'm not going to try I'm going to reset you can hear an audible sound this is probably part of the the test program I've never seen it run on the 128 so Then we have nothing. But the artifacts do change every time on the screen. They're never really in the same location. Some of them are, as you saw right there. See, now we got something entirely different. Also, we'll notice that all the wording appeared, it's in the wrong color though. And that is also a, a memory location uh, that correlates to the text character location. Uh, got a wrong color and then maybe reintroduce that color throughout the entire writing of the logo. So we'll see.